Yo guys, welcome to some more reaction videos. Today we're going to a video from JD Animation, which is Pokemon fan plays Digimon and hated it. Now we've seen a lot of uh, JD Animation videos where she plays a lot of Pokemon games, mainly the Nuzlocke or any of the Pokemon RPG games. But this time she decided to play Digimon, which I only heard a bit of it, and some of the people they actually quite hate it. So I, I just, and I didn't actually really see it, but I know that some a lot of people actually don't like the game in person, but the TCG game they actually like it, but video games not so much. So I'm excited to see how this Pokemon YouTuber, no, well, YouTuber animation fan, uh, plays Digimon and see how she react to it. But as always, before the video starts, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, plus turn the notification button for more future videos. Also guys, I'd be very, very pleased if you can recommend me some more videos or channels you want me to react to, please put that in the comments, I will really appreciate that, it will really help me and help this channel. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. I know absolutely nothing about Digimon. Pokemon is my entire life, so why would I need to branch out? Well, I happen to be a very open-minded person, and the only way to prove that is to play a Digimon game for the first time. I wanted to see if, putting all my bias aside, I could bridge the gap between the two, and they could live together in harmony in my tiny little brain hobby drawer. So thus began my journey on finding the perfect Digimon game to start out with. At first, I didn't think that would be a difficult feat. Every community kinda has the general agreed consensus on what media is best to consume as a newcomer, right? All it takes is a quick Google search, I play what the internet people tell me, and now I'm a Digimoner. Well, apparently not here. Huh? I've come to realize that it's a bit complicated for them. Everywhere I looked, there were threads upon threads of people trying to agree on what Digimon game is even good really? in the first place. Pretty much every comment I read said something along the lines of, This game is pretty good. Yeah, except for these things. Or, This game is great. If you can look past these extremely annoying mechanics. Every time I thought I had a lead on a game, I would look further into it and realize a lot of people actually had a lot of <laughs> wow. And it wasn't even angry complaining. It seemed like I've walked in on a fandom that has just been hurt over and over. And they're really trying to hang on to something and believe in the good of the franchise. But they've just been put through a lot. <laughs> you know, kind of like the Sonic fandom. I've never had to do so much research just to find a... Seriously, yeah. <laughs> that people can just all agree is good. He just, he just wanted to search the best they, like, Digimon game to play. <laughs> but apparently it's like a tedious and frustrating Tamagotchi game where you just start over if they die. Digimon World 2 is apparently a dungeon crawler, but extremely grindy and complicated. And I read a lot of people complaining about it just being bland. People said Digimon World 3 is a typical RPG, but the battles get tiring and annoying. Lots of backtracking and never feeling like you get anywhere. Digimon World 4, Digimon World Championship, the list goes on and on. Con after con. Seriously? I spent multiple research. How many digital games research. the one likes to play? <laughs> by asking Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> there was just one game that was overall good and easy to start with. Really? And Digimon fandom, if there truly is a good game out there. You guys need to start pitching the franchise better. You made this difficult. <laughs> I would say it seemed like the majority of people enjoyed Digimon Cyber Sleuth, but the thing is, that's not really the type of game I wanted to play for the channel. Why? It looks like it's got more of this? a Persona 5 vibe that focuses oh. more on the story and characters and stuff. That's just what I've read, I don't know. Either way, it wasn't the fit for what I'm looking for. I'm sure I would love it as a casual playthrough, but it just didn't hit my content checklist. Oh. All of this research led Bro, to we haven't start get to the game yet. <laughs> Digimon World oh, oh. It didn't seem perfect. I saw complaints with it, but I thought, you know, it seemed like the same amount of complaints other Digimon games were getting, and there were enough people talking positively about it. I figured I could look past the criticisms, maybe even if I was aware of them beforehand, they wouldn't bother me too much. And plus, I thought it looked nice. I like the pixel art, and I'm a sucker for good pixel art. So after all that, all the research, knowing the flaws beforehand, having a positive mental attitude, I settled on a good enough Digimon game, right? Something at least playable, right? Mm. 
much as I want to say yes, this was one oh of the my God. most <laughs> miserable video game experiences I've ever forced. Seriously, yeah. <laughs> and that isn't even as a biased Pokemon player. That's as an enjoyer of fun. I was aware of Digimon World Dawn's criticisms. I knew what I was getting myself into. Yet despite all the warnings, all the positive outlooks, all of the <laughs> manifesting to be able to frolic hand in hand with both the Digimon and Pokemon franchises together in a beautiful field of a thousand and sunflowers it was just awful really hearted i tried to put my name in and realized they only allow five characters what <laughs> character's name so i'm jaden for any gameplay i'm given four different packs of three digimon the balance pack attack pack speed pack and the japanese pack and japanese pack to see how huge and powerful they all look look at these big men pokemon starters don't look like this this is awesome i chose the attack pack because the big worm guy was my favorite and then the game forces me to nickname all my digimon oh man <laughs> um and if i try to name them their original digimon names I can't, because they don't give me enough characters. Again, out of everything I read about this game, this is hilariously not mentioned in anyone's criticism list. I don't know if it's a Digimon thing, or I don't know. So here I, Jaden, am with my Charmon, Tony Tiger, and Big Worm. I'm not even given a chance to breathe before I'm thrown into this Digimon gang tournament, having to fight for my Digimon and friends' lives and glory in an environment I'm not even sure how to comprehend. Like, first of all, where are we? This sure doesn't look like the You're in the Digi world. <laughs> Also, what is a Digimon? I was <laughs> figuring it out. You still asking what's a Digimon? I mean, I also don't know what a Digimon is. And then win a few more times before the tournament is over, and our team or gang or something, Light Fang, is the winner. Yay, Jaden! You won the tournament for us! Yay! What's going on? Oh my god, what the f- it's what the heck? A twist in story direction, a genuinely terrifying virus of death spawns and starts turning all the Digimon into Digi eggs, including mine. I checked my guys, and Charmon is the same. Tony Tiger is a bit smaller, but Big Worm is a dinosaur now. He's not a big worm anymore. Now his cleverly <laughs> doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I was to know I was getting fully grown Digi guys, and they were gonna turn them back to small Digi guys again. And Big Worm starts off as a lizard. That's like the opposite of how that works. I knew I didn't know anything about Digimon. But after the past five minutes, I've realized I am completely out of my element. I go up and fight the horrific demon virus that I'm IRL scared of. And despite still not knowing what the hell I'm doing, I end up winning, even with my little digibaby. Uh. The virus deuces out, and the head of the Lightfang clan, this glare guy, what the heck? His name, his name is, Blair, is like, this is so weird. Go climb a mountain and look around or something, I guess. I'm sent out to look for virus clues at Login Mountain and run into my Light Fang friend, Kenta, who's like, I don't know what happened. We got here and all the wild Digimon started attacking me and the other members. They left me behind to be mauled What the? escape equipment. <laughs> I'm fine now, but I think I'm just gonna go back to the city. She does that, and I start <laughs> traversing the mountain. And this is where I experienced my first complaint that everyone was talking about in this game. All the dungeons and areas and stuff are mazes. They're all mazes oh. with absolutely bonkers wild Digimon encounter rates. You don't have a mini-map to know where you're going or where you even are any point of the dungeon. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> to avoid the random encounters. Basically, I am realizing this is like playing a Pokemon game, but the whole game is a maze. You never know where you are because maps don't <laughs> exist. Everything is wild grass, and there's no repels. I think I chose the wrong game. I <laughs> made my way to the top of the mountain. At least I think it's the top. I have no idea where I am and never will. And the other two guys who left a defenseless little girl to be roasted over a digifier are getting beat up by <laughs> a knocked the bird in the head hard enough to make him come to his senses. And he apologizes for being mean, which is more than I expected to be fair. And the guys are saved. By the way, I, I, didn't, I didn't know that Digimon spoke. I didn't know that they spoke to the people and talked and interacted. It's it's weird to me. 
and I never quite got over it. We <laughs> return to the city, and everyone's like, great job, Jaden. And then suddenly, I'm left alone with absolutely no idea what to do or how to continue progressing. I'm trying to figure out if I have to, like, talk to someone or walk into the right room, and someone's like, ah, Jaden, we're all being traumatically and irreversibly turned into Digi <laughs> something i don't know and i do want to make sure you guys know that even the main hub is a maze the amount Damn. of time I <laughs> to figure out where i even am in the supposed safe space of the city overworld was pure comedy and frustration why is everything in this game perfectly <laughs> she's so frustrated <laughs> i am just wandering around walking in what i am 60% sure is a circle left in the dark on what actions I need to take to keep playing a game I no longer want to play. She cannot get out of this game. <laughs> if I want to progress the story, I need to earn it. I have to walk into this building, talk to the Digi clerks, and complete multiple useless side quests that have nothing to do with anything to unlock another chunk of the main game. <laughs> and let's not forget, all the dungeons are mazes. I said that already. But I want to reiterate, I have to go through mazes, sometimes multiple times, to unlock the important maze. But only for a little bit, after I earn just a biscuit, just a crumb of that sweet, sweet story nectar. I'm humbled yet again by being told to go play more errand boy in more pointless <laughs> mazes as the cycle continues. So she's, 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 she's going through an endless line of mazes. <laughs> to decent rating on multiple game review sites. Surely the people who said this game was pretty good all things considered were secret enemies hoping to pull innocent victims into their dark dark digiweb looking to either break the weak or torture the strong. What is going on? Am I the only one who thinks this game was meant to be given to hostages to torture information out of them? I'm, really upset, and I'm straight up ready to spill my mother's maiden name. And I still don't even know how to play the thing or what a Digimon is because no, I do not want to read a Bible's worth of tutorials. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be the first person to use a Nintendo DS to kill a man. Let me cut this whole show short and just tell you the entire non-fluff plot of the game. Evil Fountain of Youth of Death virus turns all the Digimon into Digi-Eggs. Light Fang Clan thinks Night Crow Clan is behind it because their chief is acting strange. Night Crow Clan thinks Light Fang Clan is behind it because their chief is acting strange. The two realize neither of them are behind it because they've been mind controlled to act strange. They find oh. out there's an evil Digimon virus thing behind it all. Jaden beats it up. It fades away and credits roll immediately. Ah, okay. <laughs> that story where's the game game hours and i was cheating i was using speed up and exp codes and god <laughs> wow that time could have easily tripled if i was being a good little squeaky clean angel playing the game in its pure the Disney cannot be us playing this game <laughs> i would have thrown myself into the ocean and even using all the resources I could find, it still was not a fun experience. Here's a clip of me trying to read a guide after my fifth time of being completely lost in a maze dungeon. If you've unlocked the macro sea, go there and head south, then go up and right to head to the south path, leading to another screen, then go left after- I don't even know what she's saying! <laughs> on the left, if you don't have the key, head south- Oh my god! I didn't understand any of that. <laughs> I'm freaking out, dude. <laughs> Not only was I subjected to maze after maze after maze, wild encounter after wild encounter, but throughout all of that, the game still expected me to do a cement mixer. What is running. that? No way, Jose. Do you know how many layers deep this agony cake is already? You want more? Sir, I am but a husk. As you can see, there is not a molecule of serotonin, dopamine, or endorphins in this lifeless body. <laughs> I'm really sorry, Digimon fans. I really have nothing against Digimon as a whole. In fact, I absolutely love a lot of the Digimon designs. When it comes to monsters and creatures, I have to admit, I am an edgy bitch. That's true. So I absorbed those guys like they were a little puddle of muddy water in a scorching barren desert. Because metaphorically speaking, that's what they really were to me. Look at all these fellas. I'm surrounded by everything I could ever want in a monster. Pokemon could never. Maybe Agron. I even got <laughs> back. He's my friend forever. Despite 
despite all my efforts, I chose the wrong Digimon game. I really did. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't play Cyber Sleuth. I didn't have the options, a thousand punches to the skull. Regardless of the pain this game has inflicted on me, I can, against all odds, say I am coming out of this experience a bit of a Digimon enjoyer. Maybe I still don't know a single thing about any of it, but I have some favorite guys. I think they're cool. This evil, evil game somehow didn't tarnish my view on Digimon as a franchise. I am damaged, but I forgive. One day I will play Cyber Sleuth and hopefully be able to commit to being a fully fledged Digimon fan. That's how I think it works. Until then, Digimoners, I'm worried about you. Please seek therapy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was the end of the video of J Animation trying to play a Digimon game. Uh, I would say that this majority of this one is mainly a com uh, it's a review complaint about this game. <laughs> like, and I, I like how she like tried to make this as a try and make it as a game video as like she always do it in Pokemon game or Mario game all that sort. But this time, this one is like she's more like more review to the game rather than just playing it because as you said there's a lot of like a uh, lot of flaws in this game there's a lot of mazes you can't get out the grab the mechanics of the game the playthrough of the game doesn't make sense but i think she made sense for her after playing like 15 hours of the game and i think she completed the game but still like she's still not really like thinking liking the not fully liking to the game but still like appreciate the game because of the the grad, the, I think I think the artistry of the monsters, which I also agree because their monsters are actually quite cool. Way not say more cooler than Pokemon, but it's like has its own unique art, uh, art uh, character. Uh. So yeah, I can also like like it as well. Uh. Rather, uh, for Pokemon now, it's like it's a uh, quite a meh, but Digimon is. I'm not sure Digimon is still like doing its uh, shits, but uh, the. The character design or the character monster design is still quite good. I think I'd rather have that than rather like some Pokemon lah. <laughs> so like my knowledge like in Digimon is actually quite limited because like the only time I know about Digimon is the series of Digimon Cross or Digimon Fusion and their new game D Digimon TCG which I never played before, but I actually wanted to play, but they don't have the English version in my country, so it's a bit disappointing, but lucky I didn't do it because, like, their new, their rules now is, like, it's, uh, way, uh, kind of make me mad because, like, the, the ways of making, a uh, a card, a deck, just can I say a deck, a deck is a stack of cards, it's a bit mixed already, so I don't like it, and I decided, like, not to play it, but then if I want to play it, I might play it. So, if I have the time now. <laughs> so, to conclude this uh, video, I would say like, if you were ever thinking of playing a Digimon game, uh, I would say like, go which one you would like the, uh, unless you want to go check the form, which apparently what she did, but then like, there was a lot of hate, and there's like, some of like, their own interest, but then like, it's your own interest as well, to see what game you think is quite cool, and you think like, you know what, I actually can play this, and then like, you want to play it, then play it, unless you have the like, the console or that stuff lah. Uh, but then if you don't want to play the video game, you can try to play the TCG game. It's actually quite good if you want to. La. <laughs> but still, if you, have, if you ever think of playing Digimon, go ahead. Play your own game and have fun. La. That's all it is. <laughs> that is all for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Plus, turn on the notification button for more future videos. Also, guys, I'd be very, very pleased if you can recommend me some more videos or channels you want me to react to, please put that in the comments. I really appreciate that. It'll really help me and help this channel. Also, go check out Jaded Animation's channel. Links will be in the description. Now, that is all. Hope to see you guys next time. Take care and peace.